Any woman using sex for manipulation is a woman that usually has, no, I'm not even going to say usually, nine, ten times out of a ten has a, a, a promiscuous past. These are these women that are, you know, 30 plus, 40 plus, who done, you know, got ran through all through their 20s or, you know, even possibly their 30s if they in their 40s, who think that the reason why their dating life or their relationship life hasn't worked is because they didn't gave up their vagina to so many guys. They just been throwing their vagina around like Oprah when she was throwing car keys to everybody in the crowd. And see, usually, that's not the case. And the reason why they, they think this is like they're going to start using their vagina as a bargaining chip and start manipulate you with it is because they think that if they get more of an investment out of you, that's going to just solve all of their problems. They think that if they come off more, you know, meek and submissive and, you know, they get you to put more in that you're just going to fall in love with them. These are the worst types of promiscuous women because instead of them thinking that it has something to do with them, instead of them looking inward, they think it's every man that they didn't been with. That's the problem. So what they do is they try to use manipulation as a way to get what they want, which is these type of women, you want to stay the f away from them. Any woman that's using a vagina as a bargaining chip, stay the f away from them. And see, they don't understand that it's because of their, you know, shitty behavior, shitty attitude, lack of accountability, lack of self-awareness that they can't retain a man while they're dating or relationship life actually sucks ass. They don't understand that. And if you tell them that, they those are the women that 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 just they get they'll get mad. Oh, is every oh men ain't sh it's, it's everybody else and all it shut the f up. See, and the reason why I know this to be true is because it's it's a lot of women, it's a load of women that were promiscuous in college, all through their twenties, and they still don't have a problem with getting a man and maintaining a man. They still have no problem with it. Even alpha males. I know a lot of dudes who are alpha males who deal with uh, promiscuous women or don't care about a woman's past. And these women treat them like kings. You know what I'm saying? Because these women have good behavior. Like, they don't have any problems. When I think about it too, not saying any of the women that I've dealt with with sluts or promiscuous, because if it's up to me, I prefer not to deal with those. But you, like I so you never kind of really know you kind of got to take a lucky guess and use i can get it out of women i can get it out of them and see if they were or not i'm very good at that i like to think i'm good at it you know but um the best women that i usually had were women that were you know ones that i smashed fast whether i was on a first or second date well, those are some of the longest relationships and the longest women that i've retained was those types of women why i don't know the next one is drug abusers and actually y'all boys i'm gonna do i'm gonna actually do a part two to this so y'all y'all stay tuned to this because i'm gonna do I'll probably do a whole series on this this promiscuous past the second one is drug abusers any woman who does drugs weed alcohol cigarettes vape hookah and especially if they do this on a consistent basis has a promiscuous past especially especially those women that's 30 plus especially those women see the thing about with drugs alcohol and things of like that these things are pain numbers and when a woman done slept with the whole world is it's studies that's shown that when women are promiscuous they end up getting depression and anxiety and things of that and you know drugs and alcohol and those things are things that get women to you know numb that pain that they have numb the depression numb the anxiety any women like if you if you if you really look at most of the women who do do these drugs alcohols or whatever most of them are very immature because drugs and alcohol and stuff like that doesn't cause a person to become mature because when you're going through tough tough times in life when hitting the fan and things are going wrong and then you turn to drugs and alcohol instead of just facing it you really don't grow as a human being you can't really grow because growth requires resistance it requires you to go through shit and you know be vulnerable to going through shit for you to be able to grow as a person but when you go to drugs alcohol and things like that you never be you never you never grow this is why you see some of these 30 year old women these 40 year old women who still act like and stuff like that because they turn to alcohol drugs and stuff like that when they going through shit, they don't have the the mental fortitude to get through that shit and grow as a person so they still stuck a lot of these people a lot of these women are still stuck at 16 years old as as a 20 year old as a 30 or 40 year old adult you're not gonna get yeah you're not gonna get much out of them of course they've been out here fucking doing all this other stuff and then they're gonna blame everything that they do oh yeah i was fucking and doing all this other stuff because i was i was high when i him and I was drunk and I was off a pill when I did and you don't you don't even want to deal with no shit like that you know what I'm saying so if she does if she does any of that stuff for one you shouldn't even fuck her 
And you ever heard the saying, if she smokes, she pokes? That's a fact. So in two, she's promiscuous. She, she either was promiscuous or still is promiscuous most of the time. And I'm going to give y'all a bonus one. It's the last one. She'll just flat out tell you <laughs> that she was a you know what I'm saying? Like if she ever be like, yeah, I didn't, I did this and I did that when I was, you know, I, I had a, I had a lot of things that I did back in my day, you know, some shit. Like that. I had fun back in the day. I, I did a lot of, you know, exploring. She using words like I used to be explore. I used to be very adventurous. You saying shit like that? <laughs> you can already tell what the fuck actually means by that. You can get a guesstimate. So fellas, man, I'm gonna actually do a part two to this one. So if you did like this one, man, stay tuned because I'm gonna do a part two to this, man. And also, if you guys are having problems in your dating life, your relationship life, you ain't picking the right women, you know what I'm saying? You wanna, you wanna be able to get a girl to become obsessed with you so it's hard for her to leave, then you need to check out my products at zdb.com, man. But all is well. I wish you guys nothing but wealth, health, happiness, and abundance. And if you don't know what else to put in the comment section, put that in the comment section. And I'm out. Deuces.